This is a 1979 46 foot Hatteras convertible. She has been highly customized and when you walk down the dock you look at her and just say wow. Uh, her bow rail has been removed. She has a custom hard top. She has custom windows. She has custom paint. She has a mezzanine and tackle center in her cockpit. She has single lever controls and her salon is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, a lot of customization has gone into this lady over the years and you have to see her to believe her. She has a fighting chair with a rocket launcher in her cockpit, mezzanine seating and a custom tackle center. When you go on to her flybridge, she has two helm seats, a tournament style seating. She has a Garmin 9 inch screen. She has a Garmin 15 inch screen. She has Maritron color engine gauges and fuel monitors. There's uh, two different sizes. There's four screens total. She has a Fusion stereo with a remote on the bridge and a remote in the salon. Her front deck currently has a 250 gallon bladder tank on it. Um, new transducer, JL audio amplifier, JL audio speakers. Her salon was totally gutted down to the walls. All the walls, the headliner, the countertops, the furniture, everything is customized. Big screen TV with a sound bar. When you go downstairs, basically here you'll find the original boat. Her master stateroom has twin beds, a head with a stall shower, a nice room to it. Her forward stateroom has upper and lower berths and then a separate head with a wet head. Her galley again has Corian countertops, original stove with oven, refrigerator that's been updated, etc. There's access to the engine room under the stairway to the galley and through the uh, salon floor. She has, as I said, she has custom helm pod with single lever controls. Uh, what we have found with this vessel is she was repowered at some point with Detroit 692 TIs, which upgraded the horsepower to 550 horsepower. The engines have been rebuilt. We do not have any records of it. We're just going on what we're being told. They have approximately 370 hours since that work was done. Uh, turbos have been replaced. Her air conditionings have been upgraded. And Allison transmissions. She's lying in North Myrtle Beach, Little River area. Very bugger yachts.